You prepare a salad for your family and add in an avocado. Is that a healthy ingredient? No. You're feeling a little sluggish at work and decide to snack on some almonds. Is that a healthy choice? No. These surprising answers are in line with the Food and Drug Administration's current definition of healthy when it comes to food. But that's about to change. At the urging of food companies and lawmakers, the agency plans to update its definition of healthy for the first time in two decades. Back then, it defined healthy based on five criteria. Fat, saturated fat, sodium, cholesterol, and beneficial nutrients like vitamin C or calcium per ounce. So while a one ounce avocado is a delicious food and generally thought to be healthy, its 4.5 grams of fat per serving put it in the unhealthy category because it exceeds the FDA's three grams per serving threshold. Oh, and those almonds? 14 grams of fat per ounce. So at least for now, they're not on the healthy list. They're great. Many consider Kellogg's Frosted Flakes to be great, but are they healthy? The FDA says yes, and that's because it has zero grams of fat per serving and meets FDA requirements of being low in sodium, cholesterol, and contains beneficial ingredients. But what about its 10 grams of sugar per serving? Doesn't matter, because sugar content wasn't on the FDA's or nutritionist radar in the mid-90s when the FDA defined healthy. Calls for the FDA to make changes got a jump start after it slapped the fruit and nut bar maker Kind Company with a warning letter last year ordering it to remove the word healthy from labels on four of its products because of saturated fat content. The agency rescinded that order for KIND last month. Any changes the FDA makes to its general definition of healthy would likely take years to implement after rounds of proposals and hearings. So until then, how well do you know your healthy food, at least based on FDA rules? Does salmon whet your appetite? Unhealthy, thanks to 11 grams of fat per three ounce serving. How about SpaghettiOs with calcium? Eat up, they make the cut with just one gram of fat per serving. And how about low-fat Pop-Tarts? Also, FDA-friendly, clocking in at three fat grams and one saturated fat gram per serving.